Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Hopefully I can get through this video without being interrupted or stopped because my phone doesn't have tons of charge. Dollar Tree has been getting in lots of cute items, so it's been kind of hard for me to not go crazy, but I did have to get some of the items. So, the first item, oh, also... They started getting in some of their fall items, and I'm like, oh my gosh, why do they get the fall stuff and all the other seasons so early? But if you don't get those items when they put them out, once it is closer to that season, the cute stuff is gone. So I do have a couple of fall items, and that's the only reason I purchased them this early. So the first item that I have to show you guys is this really cute, giant, like, pencil case. It says it's a tote organizer, but I think it's a little too small to be a tote. I love this print, you guys. They also are putting out all of the back-to-school stuff, and they have the cutest stuff. So this has the coffee tumblers and the donuts on it. I also picked up the composition notebook with the same print on it, and it just has the lined paper. The front of it has the class program for your name, school address, and then it's got um, each day of the week with the period, subject, room, and instructor. And then it's got the conversion tables and your multiplication tables, which could come in handy if you're actually using this for school. I'll just be using it as like a journal or jotting down whatever I need to jot down. I also picked up two of these super cute lanyards in this print, and I love lanyards for my keys because it helps me to not lose them as much, and I also hang my keys on a hook in the kitchen, so I like to be able to hang the lanyard on there rather than like a small keychain. So I got those. They have lots of super cute prints, you guys, in the back-to-school stuff. I don't get everything at Dollar Tree for back-to-school for my son. I do get some of it. But Walmart gets lots of 50 cent items. Even in the beginning when they first put the school supplies out, they get the 24 pack of Crayola crowns for 50 cents, index cards, packs of pencil, uh, I think they're called reams of paper, like where it's just the paper by itself in the plastic pack. You can also get them online, not at the regular Walmart website, but it's grocery.walmart.com and type in rollback school supplies and there are tons of um, 50 cent, 24 cent, 82 cent school supply items. So the next items that I got were these cute scrunchy bows and in the back to school section they had lots of um, like headbands and bows. They also had um, not just in the scrunchy brand but in, um, that's not hair you guys, it's a piece of plastic. They had like the Dollar Tree brand bows and their bigger bows. They kind of look like JoJo bows. They had like neon green, neon pink, so many cute bows. So if your daughter wears bows, definitely check out the back to school section at Dollar Tree. So I got these for crafting or just sticking on stuff because I love to do that with little hair clips. So this one is the kind of iridescent metallic look, super cute. This one is the, um, this one looks kind of like mermaid scales to me. This one is a really pretty glitter. And I got two of each of those bows. And I wanted to go crazy and get lots of the bows. But I had self-control on these bows. So I only got four of those for now. We'll see if I can refrain from buying any more. I picked up these all that glitz shower steamers so you get three of them in the pomegranate and green tea it's three times 0.88 ounces so net weight is 2.64 ounces these are just like bath bombs but instead of bath you just set them in the bottom of the shower obviously not near the drain like in front of you and then they dissolve slowly and the steam you know releases whatever's inside of them I'm not a fan of Dollar Tree bath bombs because they don't really put, like, essential oils in them and stuff. But these have, um, let's see, seed oil. They have some green tea, leaf extract, and Epsom salt in them. That's not all it has, but I figured I would give them a try. I had picked up, I think, like, two of these at Dollar Tree. I had missed them. 
and they were already pretty much gone. I love this scent in the Glade. It's Elegant Amber and Oud, if that's how you pronounce it. These are eight ounces each. I keep these in each of the bathrooms and then like one in the kitchen. I think I bought nine of these. I bought what was left on the shelf. We did, however, just get a truck, so there's probably going to be more put out if you are a local and you do go to my Dollar Tree. This scent I really hope they keep because I love this. The one that I've been using for many years is Cashmere Woods. That's my favorite. This is my new favorite. And then another one called Vanilla Joy. That's a newer one. But a really old one that I love that they discontinued was like a Vanilla Cashmere. So I got those. I picked up two of these Dial Himalayan Salts. These are 7.5 ounces. And this scent in this soap, they get it, and then it's gone for a couple of months, and then it comes back. And I really like it. And I've already started using it. I put one in the front bathroom and one in the kitchen. That's why it's open. I picked up two of these Dawn Escapes Mediterranean Lavender, Lavender scent. Sorry. I also, I think in the last video, hauled like a Japanese cherry blossom one, like two of them. It was like a pink one. 8 ounces each, so it's not the largest soap, but I like to try out the different scents in the small one, so then if I don't like it, I'm not stuck with it. I also picked up one of the Pomolive Essential Cleans in the Apple and Pear. It's 25% bonus. I picked up these super cute Bride and Groom and I can't remember if I showed these to you guys in the last haul. I don't think I did, but if I did, I apologize. They have lots of really cute bride and groom items on one of the gondolas. Like, it's got three sections with glass shelves, and they're usually just, like, in the middle near seasonal. They have bride, I think it's, is it bride and groom, mason jar candles. They have little trinket trays that say, like, together forever with little rings um, interlocked like that. Different signs um, like this with different sayings. I have a wedding drawer, which I've told you guys before. Jordan and I have been together for many years, and you're probably thinking, dang, when are you guys ever going to get married? But getting married is expensive, and we're not in any huge rush. So these will go in my wedding drawer, bride rules. And then if you would like to pause it to read it, you can. That's just way too much to read. And then groom rules. So I got those. I think the mason jar candles would make super cute, like, wedding favors or bridal shower favors. You could wrap jute twine in a bow around them and put, like, a little personalized tag on them. I picked up one of these shower curtains. It's just the cheap plastic one. 70 inches by 72 inches. I get these cheapo ones because I like to change these out, like, once a month. And I keep this cheap plastic one on the inside of the guest bathroom and the outside has like a pretty decorative one and I used to have glass doors on both of my bathrooms but the front one kept coming off the track so we uninstalled the glass doors on the front bathroom but even on the back bathroom with the glass doors I still keep a decorative shower curtain just to cover them so this I just keep on the inside to keep the water out because some people I see have decorative shower curtains and they only have that and then they get like soaking wet and I like to keep one the plastic one where it's on the inside of the tub and the decorative one on the outside which obviously I went on way too long about that but I picked up another thing of the Suavitol gyre sheets in the field flowers uh, you get 20 sheets, nothing new. I always pick these up. I also got a bounce one, but it's already in the garage. I picked up this super cute headband in the Basic Solutions brand, and it's got these pretty rhinestones. So I could wear this just when I have my hair up or down, which is rare, or just use it to pull my hair back when I'm doing my makeup if we go somewhere. They had these super cute little pencil pouches, and I doubt if I'll use these for pencils, but I thought maybe for like when we're traveling for my makeup brushes or to keep in my purse. This one has the super cute dough. It says be kind, and I just love that little picture. So cute. And then look at this one, you guys. And they had these prints on a couple other things other than just the pencil pouches. 
This one says, be clever with the little fox, and it's got the leaves going around it. So I got those both in the Jot brand. I got these really pretty ceramic pumpkins, and I thought the blue was the prettiest one. And they had, I want to say, four to five different colors in these. There was like a burgundy color, blue, and then I got this, just one of this one, this really light yellow cream color. I want to say orange, but I could be wrong. So definitely keep an eye out for these because these are going to go really fast, especially the blue ones. So I got those. They also had lots of the pumpkins that I've purchased in previous years. I also got these little cat ears headband, and it's got the lace with the polka dots. I was thinking, did I already purchase this? I know I've got little cat ears with glitter on them. I would maybe wear these on Halloween or give them away as a gift, maybe to my aunt because she loves kitty cat stuff. I picked up these three wooden pumpkins. I thought these were so cute, and these are actual... At least they feel like wood to me, like heavy duty. They've got the kind of hay looking bow. It says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes and glitter. The writing on this one is kind of metallic looking. It's not glitter. It says gather with grateful hearts. And then the black one says thankful, grateful, and blessed. So I just thought those were adorable. So I got those. <clears throat> Robert absolutely loves the Arizona teas. He loves the watermelon. I think that's his favorite. He likes the strawberry kiwi. We don't get strawberry kiwi at Dollar Tree. These are 34 ounces, which I think, but I could be wrong, is larger than the cans at like the liquor stores and grocery stores for 99 cents. These are a dollar plus eight cents tax and then CRV. So I think they come out to like a dollar 13. Or a dollar eighteen, so I got a couple of these. We get the watermelon, the peach, the mango, the Arnold Palmer one, where it's like half and half, a sweet tea, and I think that's it. But I could be wrong. We also get the Powerades in the big bottles too. I picked up a thing of the ruby kissed apple juice so it's just cocktail apple juice i like to drink this in sodas robert it says 70 percent vitamin c 64 ounces so two quarts of apple juice when robert was little i would give him apple juice not all the time like in a sippy cup but i would add like i don't know maybe like a quarter of water just to dilute it because it's not good for their teeth um I think, yeah, I already showed that to you guys. Everything's kind of all jumbled up down here because I had already started filming the video once. I picked up another pack of the cotton balls in the Assured brand. There's a hundred of them. I got these little fall signs. This one says gather and it's got the pumpkins and these are not wood. They feel like kind of like cheap plastic or um, particle board, I think. So there's that one that says gather and it's got the plaid on it. Then there's this one which was my favorite. It says thankful with the pumpkins and leaves and it's got the black and white plaid. So those are super cute. <clears throat> I picked up two of these Neeson Super Meal um, noodle bowls in the chicken flavor for Robert and Jordan. They like these um, types of little noodle bowls. What else do we have, guys? I picked up this plaid scarf, and I wanted to get the, I think it's black and white or black and gray, but I was in a hurry because I ran and grabbed these in between customers, and they were all, like, you know, in a line like this, and the black and gray one was way back there, so I would have had to take a bunch of them off, but the red and black one was for sure my favorite. So when I go to work tomorrow, I would like to for sure pick up one more of the red and black because when I wear the Dollar Tree scarves, I like to double them up because they are thin and these are going to be super cute for fall. <clears throat> you can also use these for um, crafting or I've seen people get these scarves and then the Dollar Tree little laundry baskets, they like intertwine them 
and they go all the way around. It takes like three or four scarves, and it looks really cute. <clears throat> I've seen people do um, like the nautical rope around those baskets as well, just like going down. That takes a lot more of it, but they are super cute when they're done. I picked up a small pack of these Always pads, and these little boxes I like to get to keep in like my car and my glove box because you never know when you're going to need something like this. And these are Always Radiant Flex Foam. You get three of them, light, clean scent. I picked up a pack of the Reynolds Wrap. This is just the roll, and I forgot to grab the one with the sheets. I actually prefer the sheets. The reason I got this, and it's going to sound so ghetto, you guys, but nobody's going to be able to see it. My back bedroom, um, the sun shines right on it, and I have uh, my blinds, and they have the big, thick slats like that. Well, I have like a curtain over it, and it gets so hot that it's ruining my blinds, you guys. They're actually starting to like look wavy. Because it gets so hot. Like we get in the triple digits here. So I'm going to cover my window with foil just to prevent further damage to my blinds. I don't know what else to do. <clears throat> and the curtain is thin. It's not thick at all. <clears throat> I picked up two of these bar soaps. I got one in the Caress and it's Daily Silk, which I love. I normally get like a four pack or a five pack from Walmart. I also got a... Pink Dove and a Cucumber Melon Dove from Dollar Tree as well. I picked up these socks for Robert. And Robert actually prefers thin socks. I get him socks from Ross, like Nike socks. Or at Walmart, I'll get him the Gildan brand socks. And these Dollar Tree ankle socks are the ones he loves the most. And he's like super low on them. So I went ahead and picked them up. And you get three in a pack, and they have this little stretchy thing in the middle so you can stretch them, um, you know, to be bigger. So I know he's going to really love that because that's nine extra pairs of socks for him. It's the men's size 6 to 12. And then I think it was in the back to school section. Um, I rang up this lady, and she got like, I'm pretty sure she wiped us out, like 20 packs of socks. They each came with two uh, pairs in each pack and they were um, crew socks and they were for girls I believe and normally they make the socks with like the pictures on them really thin and chintzy these were nice and thick good quality socks so I went over there to look for more but like I said she bought 20 so I think she wiped this out and they were so cute I picked up this little um, men's grooming kit for Jordan because he does have a beard. He's had one for a long time. It's got the grooming scissors and then the little tiny comb. He does already have the scissors, but they get dull. And if my camera just shuts off, you guys, I apologize for that. I picked up these combs, and these are super cute, you guys. These are also in the back-to-school section. So this is the Basic Solutions hair comb, and it's this metallic pink, which I thought was really cute. I also got the Rat Tail comb in the metallic pink. So it's got the um, Rat Tail right there. These are really good for, like, parting hair, like if you're going to do... Like back in the 90s, the zigzag, I would use these to do a zigzag part or just a straight, like if you're braiding or teasing your hair. And then I also got this one in this kind of purpley green metallic color. So those are really cool, you guys. Super cute to add to your collection, especially if you're a hairstylist. They might not be the best quality, but they're just combs. I picked up two more of these whole Garnier Whole Blend Single Use Rinse Out Care Creams. I really liked them. And these are in the Moroccan Argon Oil. So it is 1.36 ounces in total. I picked up another one of the Salon Selectives um, Hair Mask conditioner things. It's five ounces, you guys know. I've told you for many years on my channel, I absolutely love this. I like to use this as an everyday conditioner. 
Well, not every day because I don't wash my hair every day, but every time I do shampoo, I like to use this just as a regular conditioner. I don't only use it as a hair mask. And I actually just rang up a lady day before yesterday, and she bought 30 of them, you guys. I've had just like two people say they didn't like them, but mostly everyone that uses them says they like them. I don't know. I think I already showed you guys these baby wipes. I'm not sure. Just in this video, I got a pack of the Sesame Street Hushables. They are really thin, so they're good for flushing. I do prefer a little bit thicker baby wipes, but in between Walmart, I get the big tall pack at Walmart. I get these because we have to have baby wipes um, in the bathroom. It says made in the USA and it's got vitamin E in it with shea butter. What else is there? I don't want to show you guys anything twice. I picked up another one of these home store glass and surface cleaner streak free. I love this stuff you guys. I used to only like Glass Plus, and I still, that's my number one glass cleaner. It leaves no streaks, but this stuff is really good, and it's only a dollar. It's the Home Store brand, and it's 13 ounces. Let me move these pumpkins so I can grab this basket of stuff over here. And my phone is going to shut off any minute, so I got to hurry. I got um, three loaves of the Busy Baker white bread. I love this bread, you guys. If you haven't tried it, definitely give it a go. I told you guys before that Save Mart makes this. I was wrong. It's Safeway, not Save Mart. So we have people that wait for this bread, and they come in, and they buy it in bulk. I purchase it, and I'll get three or four, sometimes five, which is rare. I get these Dollar Tree bags, and I just... Uh, Put the bread in it, tie it shut, and I put them in the freezer. And then once we're done with the first loaf, I take one out, leave it on the counter for an hour or so, and it thaws out just as soft as when I put it in the freezer. Um, I got this tablecloth. It's just a black and gray tablecloth. It's round 60, 60 inches. I picked up two of these uh, painting supply items in the tool bench brand. This is the paintbrush. This is just a polyester blend. I don't know, like the thing that goes on the little roller thing. I got some really nice gray paint and I'm going to be doing a couple of different walls in the house in the nice gray. I'm going to do the front bathroom, Robert's room, and the living room for now. And I already have um, some painting supplies left in the garage from Dollar Tree. I picked up two of these dial hand soaps um, in the vanilla and honey, and I love this one in dial. It's super moisturizing, and it smells really good, and it's 7.5 ounces. Sometimes at Dollar Tree, they get this in the bonus size, and when they do, I stock up on it. I picked up this Power Stick Body Spray for Robert, and once I got home, I sprayed it, and it smells kind of funky, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing it, so it'll probably just get used as, like, a room spray or something. I picked up some more of these organizers because I did the front bathroom. I redid under the sink. I um, had put... Sorry, guys, I'm moving some stuff. I had um, did the contact paper under the sink a couple years ago. Well, I redid it, and then I got some organizing bins, put them under there, and it looks really cute. So I decided to do the exact same thing to the back bathroom. So I got two more of these baskets. I got the turquoise and the gray. So there's the gray one. It looks like that. And then the turquoise colored one. I got these baskets right here, three more of them, because that's what I got for the front bathroom. And each of them has a lid, so you can stack them, which I really like. Because if they didn't have the lids, you wouldn't be able to stack them. So I got the turquoise one, a navy blue, it looks like that, and then a gray. Sorry guys, I know you can't see this like super good. So there's those ones stacked, and let me stack the... Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is horrible, horrible, horrible. Gonna, I know I'm going to get a complaint from someone. Why do you bounce around and film like that? 
So there's the three stacked like that. And you can just organize so many different things in these little baskets. It looks so much neater than just having things sitting under your sink, which there's nothing wrong with that, but I just like the way it looks. So then I got some more of these Glad Febreze Gain garbage bags. Granted, you only get five in each box, but I like the way they smell, and for a dollar, I decided to get a couple of them. Here's another Dove soap that I got in the white. It's 2.6 ounces, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I haven't showed you guys every single item, but I know it's going to cut off, and my question for you guys, because I told you I was going to ask you a question every time, is... What is your favorite perfume? I love perfumes. I'm constantly buying them. So let me know in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. When the little bell pops up, hit the bell. So then it will notify you every time one of my newest videos is uploaded. I also have an Instagram. It's breakup to makeup one I hope you guys have an awesome week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.